Hi, this is Kyle with Global Social Media Marketing. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to track users that convert through funnels using Google Analytics 4 and Google Ads. This is for tracking specifically users that convert through lead form submissions so that they become leads for your business or maybe your clients. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video to learn how to do all those steps and to track everything properly. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so we're gonna go through setting up tracking on high level funnels to track basically the overall events of users that are happening that we can see on Google Analytics 4 and then also specific like conversion tracking for tracking when users come through the funnel and become leads. So to start off with, like the method that we're gonna use for tracking is through Google Tag Manager. So I have our Google Tag Manager set up in this account here. And if I go to tags, you can see that there are already some tags that are in existence here that I've already created. So I'll kind of go through how each of them is set up, but because of Google, how Google Tag Manager works, we won't need to recreate them per se because we can just have the Google Tag Manager code on the funnel and from there, only the tags that are associated with the, with the pages on the funnel will fire. So basically, kind of from a introductory standpoint, let's just get the Google Tag Manager code on the funnel to start. So right now, this is a totally new funnel. Uh, let's see, if I preview this page and I check real quick to see if there are any tags that fire, you'll see that there are no tags that are found here. So it is completely new from a tracking perspective. There's no code on here. What you're gonna to do to add the Google Tag Manager code on the funnel, and we're gonna add this on every page of the funnel, is you're gonna come up to the top where you see this GTM um, identifier number. You're gonna click on that. And then it's gonna give you two uh, snippets of code. This top one is the most important one. This one is the code that's gonna go in the header of the pages. And this is the portion of the Tag Manager code that's necessary to track uh, pretty much all of the views, scrolls, events, conversions, everything like that. So copy that, and then come over to your high-level funnel. Now you can go into specific pages if you wanted to, and you could come up to settings and then go to tracking code. And then you can paste that code in the header here and save that. But that would just put it on this page and I wanna put this code on all the pages without having to go through every single page to do it. So to do that, come back to the overall like launch dashboard of the funnel and then come over to the settings tab. And then here you can put in funnel wide header tracking code. So I'm gonna paste that code in here. So you can see now that, that tag manager code is in there like it should be. I'm gonna click save. Now that header code's on there. What's also recommended by Google is pasting this second script in the body tag. This isn't as necessary to my knowledge. This head code works, and even from experience too, it works without this body code, but put this body code on the pages if your funnel builder or CRM allows you to. So here we have body tracking code. You can paste that and we can save this. Now it might take like five or 10 minutes for this to register, but we have those tags on those funnel pages now. So now that we have, have those set up, we can go into pretty much getting the tracking for the different platforms that we're going to be pretty much like viewing data in. So to get started with that, um, I usually start with Google Analytics 4 just because you can put that on all of the pages and it tracks everything and it, you don't have to worry about the nuances of specific pages, at least on the tag manager side of things. So I'm just gonna go through the setup process for a Google Analytics 4 a measurement tag. I'll come up to the tag section under tag manager. I'm gonna click new. And I'm gonna name this GA4 test measurement tag. Then under tag configuration, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and it'll bring up all these different options from pretty much the Google 
a suite as well as some like custom options um, and then just their entire list of other services they have integrations with. So for Google Analytics 4, what you want to do is you want to select a Google Analytics 4 configuration. And then here it's going to ask for a measurement ID. So what this measurement ID is, is basically your G tag that you have in your Google Analytics 4 account. So I'm in the global Google Analytics 4 account here. To get that uh, G ID, you just go to, go to admin and then you'll click on data streams. Click on the data stream for the property and the data source that you want to track. And then you'll see this measurement ID here next to the stream name. You can copy that. Come in Tag Manager, and you can paste that in here. And because this is going to be firing on all the pages, all of these different drop downs, you don't really need to touch. This is set up uh, properly as it is now. Now we're going to have a trigger. So, pretty much telling Google Tag Manager where we want this tag to fire, we're just going to select all pages because we want pretty much the tracking to be on all of those funnel pages. So, we're going to click Save. And now that um, that tag is created right here. Now this tag is not just because we created it here. It doesn't mean that it's live on the page yet. To get it live on the page, pretty much you can think of this tag here pretty much like a placeholder. We need to update this this placeholder with the changes we've just made. To do that, you come up and you click submit. You add you know any details you want here, and then you click publish. When you click publish, that's when this tag will update. So I'm not going to click publish now, but just know that just because you create something in here, that doesn't mean it's actually live on the tag yet. You have to submit and publish your changes. So that's for creating Google Analytics 4 tracking. Now we're going to go through tracking for Google Ads. So I'm going to open up our Google Ads account. So here's our company ads account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the remarketing tag next because that's also something that we want to fire on all of the funnel pages and that's a bit less nuanced than the conversion tracking. So to get that created, what we're going to do is we're going to go through a similar process where we're going to click new. We're going to click, we're going to come in here. We're going to say Google ads remarketing test tag. And then under tag configuration, we're going to click and then we're going to select Google ads remarketing here. Now for this, we have options that we have to input from Google ads. So in Google ads to get to the remarketing tag, what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and settings. We're going to go to audience manager and then in audience manager on the left hand side, you're going to come to your data sources and then you'll see this Google ads tag box here. You're going to click on details. And scroll down and then there's a tag setup section right here and this is where you can get the information that we need for Google Tag Manager so if you click use Google Tag Manager you'll see that there's a conversion ID here and this is for the remarketing tab so tag excuse me so you can copy this and then come back to Google Tag Manager you're gonna paste this where the conversion ID section is so right here paste and that's all you need for this section. This conversion label, we don't need that right now. We only need that for the conversion tracking. So this is fine as this is. And then triggering, we're gonna say all pages again. And that's ready, then we can save that. And now we're gonna go through the conversion tag tracking setup. So this setup is going to be a little bit different because we only want the conversion tracking to fire on one page. We don't want it to fire on all the pages. The page that we want to fire on is this thank you page right here because we want to know when people become leads because people can only become leads by filling out the form on this previous landing page here. Once they fill out the form here, they are redirected to this page. So we're going to do is we're going to need to set up the trigger first for this tag. So it's kind of a little bit of a different process. So 
because there's no domain on this funnel, we really can't set it up exactly, but we can kind of give an example of how you do this. So in Google Tag Manager, to set this up, we're gonna create the trigger first. So click on the triggers tab, and then we're going to click new. We're gonna title it Google Ads Example Conversion Trigger. Then we're going to click on trigger configuration we're going to click page view and this is where we're selecting the single page instead of having all pages so click some page views and then you're going to select page url and this is the same pretty much process as in google analytics 4 when you're setting up an event on a specific page so you're doing page url contains and then whatever the slug of the url is for this example this is a preview but if we wanted to we could select this slug right here. This would be whatever is the, the page name here. Come back here, paste this in, and click save. Now that that's created, we can go to the tag section and create the actual tag. Go back to the tag section, click new. We're going to name this lads example conversion test tag. Then under Tag Configuration, you're going to select Google Ads Conversion Tracking. Here, you can take the information from Google Ads as well as, say, conversion values and currency codes and stuff like that. So for the basic information that you need in order to just get this created, you need the conversion ID here and you need the conversion label here. To find those, you go to your Google Ads account, and you would go to the conversion that you would already have set up in your Google Ads account. So to do that, go to Tools and Settings, and then Conversions. And here, you would just choose the conversion that you would already have set up. If you don't have a conversion set up, that's where you would set one up. So you would go to New Conversion Action, go to Website. For the website domain, this is a little bit like of a different process. You could just put in the domain for your website, so if we wanted to global social media marketing. This will go through its pretty much review process. And then here there are a bunch of events that are being that are being tracked because we have our Google Analytics 4 account um, already set up here. But if we wanted to do this in Google Ads specifically, we could just say add a conversion action manually. And that's where we're pretty much setting up from scratch in Google Ads. So from this drop down on goal and action, it's pretty much saying, okay, what's the goal? Submit lead form. We could have the name, so example, Google Tag Manager, submit lead form. Here, we could use, use the same value for each conversion. We could just have $1. And then because this is a lead coming in, we only care about the first time someone gives us their information because we're not getting any added value from people like resubmitting their same information. So we'll select one. All these basic defaults are fine, and then click done. And now that that's there, right there, we, we can click Save and Continue. And here, we're going to select the Use Google Tag Manager. And this is where we're going to get the conversion ID and the conversion label, which is right here. So conversion ID, we're going to take this number, we're going to copy it, come into Google Tag Manager, and we're going to paste it in here. And in Google Ads, we're going to find the conversion label, which is this long string right here, then we're going to come back to Tag Manager, paste in here. For consistency, we can just put one here, and that will work. Now, if we scroll down, we click on Triggering. We don't have to specify the trigger because we already created it, so we can just choose that here. We don't have to, you know, create one or do anything like that. So Google Ads Example Conversion Trigger, choose that, and click Save. And now that Google Ads example conversion test tag is set up to only fire on this page. To get it all live, click submit, enter in, you know, Google Analytics, Google Remarketing, Google Ads uh, conversion tracking. And then you can, if you want, you can put in the information of all the labels and stuff in here and then just click publish. I'm not going to click publish because it's kind of a uh, walkthrough, but if you'd like to test whether or not your tags are firing on your funnel pages, you can use Google Tag Manager's preview and debugger tool. This tool can be found in 
the Google Tag Manager workspace in the top right hand corner where it says preview. When you click on preview, the preview mode will open in a new tab. And here's where you can enter the URL of the web page that you'd like to test to see which tags are firing. So on this thank you page, where I have Google Analytics 4 and Google Ads tracking installed, I'm going to copy the URL. And then I'm going to come back into Google Tag Manager here, paste it in, and then I'm going to click Connect. And that page will open in a new tab, which needs to remain open while the Tag Assistant preview tool is functioning. So now you can see in the tabs here, there are, there's a tag on the Tag Manager tool tab that is also pointing to the tab that had just opened next to it of the page that you are testing for firing pixels. So now in the Tag Manager tab, click Continue. And you can see here that I have the Google Ads conversion tag, the Google Ads remarketing tag, and the Google Analytics tag all firing on the page. And that is how you will know that your tags are set up properly and they are firing properly. If your tags are not firing, then you'll see the tags in the tags not fired section right below the tags firing section. And if you see, for instance, your Google Ads or Google Analytics for, uh, pixels appearing in that tags not fired section, that is an indicator that something is wrong with the tag setup or the triggers. So you can go back and try to troubleshoot those tags and see what can be optimized so that they perform and function properly. Now to get out of Google Tag Manager's preview tool, all you have to do is close the tab and your, your Google Tag Manager container and workspace is still open on this page or you can use the preview section of Google Tag Manager to see the conversion tag and the remarking tag are firing. So that's the setup process for getting Google Analytics 4 and Google Ads tracking on a brand new funnel. And that's how you track users that convert through your sales funnel using Google Ads and Google Analytics 4. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, Global Social Media Marketing. Hit the notification bell so you get updated when we upload new videos. And share this video if you found it useful and helpful. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.